Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick little video here. Uh, I, I did a couple of videos a while back, um, actually quite a while ago, uh, when I first put this Helicrafters S38 back in a service and it, it underwent a, a full restoration which just came out beautifully. Uh, this was my dad's. Uh, my dad uh, is still alive, is still a ham radio operator, uh, but this was his first foray into uh, amateur radio and shortwave radio. Uh, he later, uh, he, he got his ham radio ticket uh, when he was a teenager, and as you've seen in my other videos, I today own uh, all three of his Halicrafters, which were uh, the complete 1946 lineup, the S38, the S40, and the S SX42. This is a fun little radio. I, I, I won't say that it's a uh, it certainly does not offer the performance of an SX42 or even an S40, but this radio has unbelievable charm, and when, when I'm describing the radio for someone, I'll, I'll always say that it's an All-American 5 on steroids, and that, that's really what this radio is. Now, is it going to give you a top-end performance? I doubt it. Is it going to give you a heck of a lot of fun? I guarantee it. You hook one of these up to a 100 foot long wire and a dedicated uh, good earth ground. And that's exactly what I've got right now is a 100 foot long wire and a, a, a copper rod uh, earth ground. This radio really likes a good ground. And when I say that, um, I it seems to really bring the radio to life and uh, the sensitivity of this set is superb. If, if you're going to use it for broadcast band DXing, you could do a heck of a lot worse. Now, it, it doesn't have the best uh, thermal stability, so you are going to uh, probably need to let it warm up for a little bit. And uh, even then, you're going to be maybe using your band spread tuning or readjusting your main tuning uh, quite a bit. Now, you can copy single sideband. Um, the S40 has a dedicated tube which operates both the beat frequency oscillator as well as the automatic noise limiter and this noise limiter actually works pretty well now for single sideband it is tricky um, your your automatic volume control is automatic there's no way to override it and your RF gain is always all the way up but you do have uh, a CW pitch which varies the frequency of the BFO, and you also have your band spread tuning. So the way to use your band spread is your hand bands each have a little marking, like right there, uh, a swath, like right now we're on 80 meters. So you line your main tuning up uh, with the bottom part of that band, and then you can operate with your band spread I just had someone on uh, whoop here we go on AM for uh, 80 meters
It's uh, early evening here, so conditions are a little tricky. We'll turn the BFO on. See if we get any signals. Here we go. Oh, that's a single sideband. Let's see if we can copy him. It is really tricky to copy single sideband on, on one of these sets. It can be done, and, and I have done it. Of course, it never works when, you, when you're live on video. But I was copying all kinds of signals on this set. There we go. But you hear it can be done. Now, would I use this hour after hour for copying sideband? Probably not. Would I use this hour for hour for AM fun, uh, also shortwave? Absolutely. It is dynamite on AM. DX is just starting to come in. So tonight I'm going to be tuning it up for probably some AM and some shortwave DX. I'm glad there's no music on because the copyright police won't come chasing after me. But it is a fun nice little set iconic industrial design by uh, Raymond Lowy and his associates which uh, benchmarked the whole Hallicrafters post-war lineup they they came into uh, 1946 with a splash with this particular radio and then of course the S40 and the SX42 which use a very uh, contemporary design still attractive today with this half moon band spread dial it's a beautiful little set and you can get these really inexpensively um, of course one of the caveats with it is that uh, it is a hot chassis design L luckily this was when this was rebuilt uh, an isolation transformer was put into it. All the uh, grommets that isolate it from the case. I can touch this case and not be worried about a shock. Uh, we've also got a polarized plug on there as well. So it, it, it has been updated for uh, the 2000s uh, with a, a nice uh, safety redesign. And of course, all new capacitors, all new resistors, and uh, tested vacuum tubes. So I, I, I'm just having a blast with this little set. And I think I'm going to have this on all night tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ho I hope it got you thinking about one of these nice little um, 
S38s, of course, it was followed by the S38A, B, C, but the A is the one to get. Um, this one has um, all the toys and uh, probably the nicest performance out of the S38 line. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you'll subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Maybe leave me some comments, tell me to jump off a cliff. Take care for now.